good morning. So Ascension Day, which this year falls on next Thursday, is normally recognized on the Sunday to follow. But because Mother's Day is next Sunday, we have come to gather and reflect on the profound story of Jesus lifted into the heavens today. I've come to believe the Ascension isn't just about Jesus physically leaving, and certainly not about him leaving us behind. So let's take another look at this story. Philosopher and mathematician Alfred North Whitehead said, God is not before all creation, but with all creation. Jesus's life, death, and resurrection are all integral to this ongoing process of creation as described in the first line of the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Ascension, then, symbolizes Jesus' complete embodiment of God's love. Through his teachings, actions, and sacrifices along the way, Jesus became the perfect expression of divine love in the world, as described by Whitehead when he said, love is the ultimate principle in the nature of things. Now, the ascension doesn't mean Jesus is gone from us. Most of us can see how he continues to influence the world, not from a distant heaven, but by becoming part of the very fabric of reality. His love is woven into the relationships we build, the compassion we extend, and the acts of justice we pursue. In this way, we are called to participate in this ongoing process of co-creation. By following Jesus' teachings and embodying his love, we carry forward his presence in the world. We become instruments of God's grace, helping to heal, transform, and build a more just and loving world. So the ascension isn't an ending, but a deepening. Jesus remains with us, not in physical form, but in the spirit of love that transforms us and the world. As theologian Charles Hartshorn suggests, the love of God is the ground for the creation and continuance of the world. And fellow theologian John Cobb adds, love is the lure that calls the world into being and the power that sustains it. The passage we heard read earlier from Acts isn't about Jesus giving us specific tasks. Instead, it speaks to our role of furthering that love in the world through our own deepening and embodying God's love. Valerie Kaur's book, See No Stranger, offers a powerful lens for understanding this calling. Valerie argues that love compels us to see the dignity in everyone, even strangers, and to act on that recognition. This aligns perfectly with my understanding of the Ascension's message. The disciples, after witnessing the Ascension in Acts, were instructed to wait for the Holy Spirit, which would empower them to be witnesses. This empowering spirit isn't just for the disciples, as we know, it's for us too. As we go about our lives, we are empowered by the same spirit to embody love in action. Now, even though Valerie Kaur never speaks of the Ascension in her book, we learned through studying See No Stranger that we can still use Valerie's lens to get a fuller perspective on the deeper meaning of the Ascension. Some of the things she writes on include embodying love in action. Every interaction offers opportunities to see the dignity in others. A doctor treats patients. A teacher educates young minds. A sanitation worker keeps our communities healthy. All acts of service that embody CORE's message. Loving kindness. CORE emphasizes the importance of love as a verb, an active force for good. 
This translates to acts of kindness, fostering a spirit of cooperation, empathy, and respect. We heard that with John Cobb's quote as well. Advocacy and uplifting others. Jesus taught that the Holy Spirit would empower us to advocate for others or lift them up. This message is also embodied in Valerie's call to see the dignity in everyone and act accordingly. Ultimately, Kor's message aligns with the message of the Ascension. Every moment we can find opportunities to co-create a more loving world, reflecting the ever-present influence of Jesus Christ. As Kor puts it, love is the only force capable of transforming enemies into ancestors. I would add that love is the only force that can turn a departure into a deepening, ever beckoning us to live into that love's depths. Amen.